Interesting. All right. Guys, we're going to get started. We are live from the Corn Team. And this is Geese Week at Training for Warriors, one of Training for Warriors' favorite winged animals. All right. So we're not going to be talking about the lion this week. We're not going to be talking about buffalo. We're going to be talking about geese and how geese are pretty amazing animal, uh, pretty amazing uh, birds like as far as um, they're working together is concerned because we're also talking about uh, working, working together and lifting each other up. And so um, geese fly in that V formation and that first leader geese, goose, um, will switch out with other geese once they get tired so that they're always keeping the, her, the flock like going for it. And they found that with the, when the geese line up in that formation and they, they, they lose that like uh, air resistance and they get more lift, that they're actually able to fly 70% further than they are when they fly alone. You know, so it's just talking about working together and how much more efficient we are when we work together and we decide to work together. It's not just a matter of being in the same place at the same time, but it's a matter, matter of how we cheer each other on and how we really engage with each other. All right. So guys, we are going to start with our jumping jacks. So um, if you are not doing jumping jacks, then you can either just follow along with the hand motions, all right, or, and or you can do body weight squats, okay? So I'm gonna count the first five, you're gonna count the second five, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so Viviana, you're going to grab a lighter weight for your single arm overhead press. And then you're gonna get, grab a heavier weight for a dumbbell deadlift. So you're just gonna grab one of each. Guys, let's go ahead and grab our bands. We're gonna go overhead just to our shoulders and back down. Overhead just to our shoulders and back down. Yeah. Uh-oh, Jennifer's mask is blowing away. Blowing away in the wind. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring our bands up underneath our armpits. Pushing forward, back down. Really push out of those shoulders. Nice job, guys. Uh, Ten, nice. Um, let's do some over and overs. Over and overs. Woo! Did anybody do anything fun this weekend? You worked. <laughs> you watched my horn. You watch. You honked your horn. Yes. Jennifer honked her horn as loudly as she possibly could at Josh for his birthday. It was really fun. I was amazed at the spirit that came out of that Prius. <laughs> All right, guys, let's step on our bands. We're going to reach 
down low and we're gonna do our RDLs. So bringing those hips forward at the top. I want you to really stay in those lats as you're doing this, all right? Don't extend out of those lats. Don't curve that back. Pretend like you have towels stuck in those armpits as you're coming up and back. Viviana, I put you closest to the music. <laughs> we can't get it louder than this because I'm recording. So I've shamed you throughout this entire workout so far. So <laughs> I'll edit it out. <laughs> All right, guys, after you've done 10 of those, we're going to do 10 bent rows. <sighs> Really squeezing those shoulder blades at the top. All right, band over neck. I'm gonna do some body weights or banded squats. Just give me 10 of those. Nice job, guys. We're gonna do a few more warm-ups without our band. I wanna take your right hand and I want you to put it over to your left shoulder. I want you to take your other hand and put it over the elbow and get that nice stretch in that tricep. Is this where you're feeling it, Jennifer, from last week? Right there, yeah. Yeah, we have a, we have a nice exercise that we're gonna start doing for that. Um, it's called a sore draw, and uh, we're going to integrate that this week. Whew, take it to the other side. Yep, getting that hand over to the opposite shoulder blade, grabbing it. Breathing into it, coming back out. Going to bring our arm across our chest. Press it in with the other arm. There you go. Nice. What hike did you go on this weekend, Joe? Did you go on another hike this weekend? Oh, you went to Bend. Oh, nice. Was it nice? Yeah. Was there a lot of people? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was super freaked out. I went to Cannon Beach on Sunday, and there were so many people. I was just like... I've never seen that many people there. Like, I wasn't even in town. I was just on the beach. And it was ugh, really creepy. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. We're going to go into our long lunge. We're going to walk it out into our plank. We're going to walk it back in. And then we're going to rotate away from, or into that straight leg. Come back out and in. Rotate. So don't forget to hit that high plank at the top, getting that butt down about the same level as your shoulders. So Jennifer, I want you to try to walk out even further with that. So I want you to really walk it out to here. All right. Go ahead and give me five on each side. Yeah, that's it. That's a plank. That's a high plank. Good job. Nice job, guys. Five on each side. Where are you feeling it? It's hard to do that. Oh, that position? Okay, got it. Then you can also do this. You can do the inchworms out and then inchworms back in instead of the lunge. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna go into our deep, deep squat. We're gonna rotate out, rotate out, lengthen those legs, chin to chest. Come back down. We're gonna do that five times. I'm trying to get as deep with this as we possibly can. Ah, 
last one. Chin to chest, roll it up. Grab your hands. Do this nice little wrist rotation. And then back the other way. Yeah. Is that tongue, that tongue's working? <laughs> I know, you're doing the Catlin, the, the patented Catlin tongue. All right, guys, I want you to put your thumbs out. I want you to really tense up those arms. I want you to bring your head forward to the side, to the back, to the side, forward. I want you to go five times in that circular direction, being real gentle, really smooth with that neck. Oh boy, crunchity, crunch, crunch. And then five times the other way. Ah. Nice job, guys. All right. I'm going to do just a couple more. What I want you to do is I want you to come into this, this deep hinge position where I'm bringing my butt to that back wall. I'm going to take my hands in my W position with my forearms and my hands touching, and then I'm going to bring my hands out to my shoulder and then back down. So in line with my shoulders and then back down. Just go ahead and give me 10 of those. Nice. You should feel that in your hamstrings. You should really feel that butt and those hamstrings start to warm up. Nice. Yeah. Bringing him back, Ricardo. There you go, yeah, yeah. Nice, awesome. All right, so for our first set, I'm sorry, for our warm up, we're gonna go through each of these and we're just gonna do a couple of them just so you get the feel of it and then we'll start our sets, okay? So we're gonna be doing a single arm thruster so I'm going to grab my lighter of my two weights. And so for my thruster, what I want to do is I'm going to really clench this fist on this side. I'm going to come into this deep squat and then I'm going to power up out of it and then catch it on the way back down. Power up out of it, catch it on the way back down. Go ahead and give me five on each side. Switch it out. Try to keep that torso upright, Jennifer, so don't, don't lean over with it. See how I'm right here with it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So the leaning over is not going to help you, so definitely try to stay as upright as possible. All right, then we have our front rack with lunges. So we're going to grab our, our dumbbell. We're going to have our elbows up the entire time, and then we're going to go you can do a forward lunge or you can do a reverse lunge, whichever one you want. Right now, just for the warm up, just give me five on each side. How does that feel, Viviana? Is it okay? Okay. Trying to get that back knee about an inch off the ground. Oh my goodness. So when I was at Cannon Beach, I was completely covered head to toe so I didn't get sunburnt. And then I sunburnt the shit out of the tops of my feet. Ooh, feeling it right now. Yeah. All right. And then we'll do our around the world. So we're not going to do 24 right now. We'll wait till we actually get into the set. Just want to get you warmed up with this. So what I'm doing is I'm coming into this like quarter squat. So my butt's coming back and my knees are coming over my, my ankles. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap, 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 that's one. Every time I go around, that's two. Go ahead and give me five on the right. Can you bend that knee a little bit more, Jennifer? Or is that, is, is that what we got to? Can you bend that knee more? <laughs> then switch. If I hold it. Yeah, nice. Okay. I'd rather, I'd rather you get deeper with it, yeah, and be in this like quarter squat where that knee is forward, all right? So you're really activating those legs. So we're doing five times on each side. 
All right. So I'm just setting the timer so that we make sure that we get at least 60 seconds of rest. This timer was giving me grief earlier. Don't give me grief timer. All right, grabbing some water. So we're doing a 6, 12, 24. Six single arm thrusters on each side. Then we're doing our 12 front rack lunges. We're gonna do, um, let's do actually with that, let's do six on each side. And then we'll do our 24 on each side of the round the world, all right? All right. And we're going. You can either do a reverse, you can do them all on one side or you can alternate. We're going to do six on one side, six on the other, unless Josh meant 12, which you're welcome. <laughs> Keep those elbows up as I just reminded myself. Woo! Sitting into it, keeping that torso upright as I'm tapping it out. Oh, I think last week, or not last week, it was the week before, we might have even split it up 12, 12, 12, 12, because this was so hard. Try to stay a little bit more upright, Viviana. There it is, if you can. Is that okay? Each side, right? it's it, no, it's 24 each side. But last time we did this, we realized if we did 12 on one side, 12 on the other, 12 on the other side, 12 on the other, it was a little bit more digestible. Yee. Otherwise, I'm just being a big baby. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like I'm wearing white socks. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Woo! Okay. Getting my second set of 12. <laughs> ah. Thank goodness we only have three sets of these. <laughs> Everybody's so quiet. Everybody's concentrating. The what? All right, watch the clock. One minute of rest, and then we're going back into it. Woo! Ha! Ah. How's that feel, everybody? Is your body remembering that from two weeks ago? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we totally did that thing. That thing that. Made us want to die. Uh huh. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. It's like, get the athletic bra off now before I can't use my arms anymore. Ugh, the worst. You just cut it off. <laughs> All right, guys, what are we at? We got about 10 seconds left. Then we're going back into it. I'm sure Josh meant 12 lunges on each side. I just. <laughs> Six thrusters. Getting that front rack position with those elbows. I know it's 12. We're doing 12, guys. Do 12. <laughs> My conscience won't let me get away with this. It's a 6, 12, 24. We got to hold to it. If the weight that you have is too much, you can always do this without weight. That is fine. All that weight goes into that lead leg, regardless if you're doing a front lunge or a reverse lunge. Woo! All right. Single leg around the world. Staying as upright in that torso as possible. Quarter squat. Keep in tension. Uh. How's that standing leg feel? Oh, okay, yeah? It hurts more to tap it out. Wow, interesting. All right. Maybe only do half of these, Viviana. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. I haven't had a chance. I need to. I need to. I need to. I'm sorry. I will. I promise. <laughs> of where you are in your mind. Nice. Okay. It's, it, it's, a sad, it's a sad state of affairs, but I don't have Wi-Fi in my apartment. So whenever you guys text me or anything, it's like sometimes I actually have to like walk towards my door in order to get Wi-Fi from the hallway. <laughs> Someday I'll get Wi-Fi. It's just I'm in, here all the time that I was like, ah. And I don't have a computer at home, so, which is good. Woo! All right, 12, 12, 12. I'm having you guys split this up just because I want you to make sure you get through, you get from it. And keeping low, keeping that knee over that ankle and staying upright with it. Did you already switch sides, Cassandra? Okay, because I'm not counting. All right. <laughs> like, I'm just following you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to shave off a couple this time? <laughs> All right. After you finished your second set of 24s, you're going to watch the clock for a minute. All right, grabbing some water. Woo! Hydration is key. Yeah, so right when the clock resets, that's when we'll start our last set. Woo! Oh. 
Those around the world, man. I know, it's, and it's so simple, right? It's so simple. So deadly. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need to make a song for it. Oh, okay. Oh, do the hokey pokey in and here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can really stand on this thing, so. Is that? Yeah. An ISO hold? Yeah. Very boring song. All right, guys, we're getting back into it. This is our last set. That's it. Here we go. Ugh. Catch into it, thrusting up, boom, down, and then really powering up out through those legs. Wow, feeling it. Six, woo, all right. So I'm gonna switch it up this time. Did reverse last time. 12 on each side. I steered you wrong in the beginning. I wishfully thought six on each side, but that couldn't be. None of that nonsense could be. I bet it's a lot. It's probably like seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> What are we on, Cassandra? 12. Okay. Thank you. It's called Monday to Monday. It's a Gary Vandercheck. He's like a marketing, sales, business, life guru dude. He comes out with a new playlist every uh, Monday. Yeah. Josh is wearing his K-Swiss shoes right now. <laughs> Do you have a time machine? What, is this song old? No, this is just like, uh, when we listen to that, it's really weird. Uh-huh. Oh, how bizarre, wow. <laughs> Yeah, he lives in New York. Ah. <laughs> what? The what? Good medicine, guys. Good medicine. It's going to give us those beach bodies. That was 12? Okay. What's that? Feel free to take out any gratitude slips that you've put in the jar for Josh at this point. <laughs> After this. I retract my gratitude. <laughs> yes, exactly. Ah. So we're going to fill the dough with the sand and turn it into a beach. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? <laughs> this is the only place I go besides my house. So. Yeah. I'm going to show 
Yeah, that would be a fun party. Or just doing yoga out the sand. So there's just like pulling into the sand and we have to work. Oh my god, jumping jacks in the sand? That would be awesome. Oh gosh. All right. So guys, for our second set, we're going to do our squat hold to overhead press. So I'm going to have you rest while I demo. So I'm going into that, that squat hold, so I'm not sitting down into it, right? I'm still keeping that tension. And then I'm just going to go into my, hold, my squat hold to overhead press, making sure to extend those arms straight each time, OK? And then I have my dumbbell deadlift. So I'm going to get my heavier dumbbell. I'm going to set it so that it's upright, all right? Hopefully it won't not fall on your feet. All right, you're going to come down. You're going to really bring that butt to that back wall. We're not squatting with this. We're hinging, right? So we're bringing our butt to the back wall. You're going to grab it. You're going to come up, squeeze those glutes at the top, come back down, fully place it down. Keep that head in the neutral spine. And I want you to really think about turning those elbow pits forward, all right? Even though we don't have a bar to break or a kettlebell, to like bend, I want you to still think about rotating those elbow pits forward so that you're turning on those lats. Get that belly full of air. Don't forget about the breathing, right? To protect that lower back. And then we have our swimmers. So does anybody need a mat for their swimmers? Are they okay? You want a mat? Okay. Billy <laughs> do there you go, Joe. All right. Then we have 24 swimmers. Good medicine for the shoulders. On our bellies, pushing our feet into the ground, reaching out, keeping that head in a neutral spine, and then bringing our upper torso up. I want you to bring it from your glutes, guys, not from that lower back. So really feel those legs tense and your glutes squeeze as you come up, bringing those hands in line with the shoulders and back down. Right? Yay. So what do we got? All right, let me start the clock again. And we're starting with our overhead press with squat hold. Getting parallel. Try to stay controlled. It's only six. All right. Then 12 of our dumbbell deadlifts. Lining up our shoelaces with our, with our dumbbell. Coming down, grabbing it, elbow pits forward. Really pulling that butt to that back wall. 12 of these. Six. Keeping those arms straight. Don't bend those arms at the top. All right. Making room for your swimmers. 24. of those arms forward fingers are splayed out you want that constant tension in those arms the entire time all right we've got a minute of rest Woo! it's funny like the mind games I go ahead yeah yeah it's funny the mind games I play with myself when I'm doing when I'm doing these like for the swimmers the 24 I'll count a 10 set I'll count a 10 set and then a four set, as opposed to counting to 24. It just somehow seems more manageable if I break it into smaller increments. Yeah? All right. How's that, how does that set feel, guys, compared to the last circuit? Easier. Easier? Yeah. 
<laughs> it feels hot. It is. It is. It is rather warm. Huh. It, it is. It is 84 degrees in here right now. All right, guys. Here we go. Second set. You got this. Take your time. Full extension. Lining up those shoelaces, getting set up before I start. Want to make sure that my form is just as perfect with the dumbbell as it is with the barbell or kettlebell. All those things that we always talk about, bringing those that butt to the back wall, getting those hamstrings on, filling that belly full of air to protect your lower back, getting those lats on, squeezing those glutes forward. Still doing all the things. Butt is just slightly lower than those shoulders when I come back down. Going into my swimmers. the beach. I'm always surprised to see people swimming in the Willamette. Is it? Is it? It's not clean, right? It is? <laughs> Really? It's just a site, like, on the bottom. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. Just freaks me out whenever there's, like, you know, any sort of gas-powered vehicle in the water that I want to be in. Kind of turns me off. I don't know. <laughs> Might just be me. <laughs> All right, guys. We've got a minute of rest. And then we're going into our last set. Doing the thing. Are you? Are you swimming now? No. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, you mean right now, not in the grand scheme of life. <laughs> I love it when there's going to be videos of people playing on the internet. <laughs> oh my god. You did say you were going to be good today, but you weren't because you showed up on time, so that was awesome. Unlike some people, Unlike some people Vivi. Now it was funny because last week Ricardo and Jennifer both showed up late. We almost got the boot. Almost got the boot. Ricardo was admiring the planet though, so he was feeling very grateful in his walk over and lost track of time. I get it, I get it. So guys, again, try to hard not to feel this in your lower back. Really keep those legs activated in order to feel it in your glutes. That is a thing.
Woo! That was it, right? That was it. Awesome. All right, we're going to rest for at least a minute, and then we're going to do some banded squats. Get that tendon work going that we're working on this month. Working on teamwork, tendons, geese, gratitude, G to the T. I don't know. I'm making stuff up. <laughs> and be on top. <laughs> Time, tendons, team, gratitude, geese, and gains. Yeah, gains. All right. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing our three sets of 60 banded squats. What I would like for you to do is give me as many as you can, all right? So if you have to break it down into three sets of 20, that's okay, three sets of 40. If you can do the three sets of 60, we're going to wait until everybody's done or whoever is still doing the three sets of 60, all right? Three sets of two. Yeah, you'll be, yeah, that's a thing. Those are numbers. <laughs> not, not helpful for the tendon growth, but you know. <laughs> and again, guys, like if the band becomes too much, take the band off and just do the, just do the squats, all right? Um, yeah, you're right. We did the front, we did front rack position last time. Yeah, try, yeah, yeah, see how that works. Yeah, all right? that depth so guys whichever way you're doing this if you're doing three sets of 60 or three sets of 20 three sets of 40 we're trying to get high reps we're trying to hit depth and then make sure you get a minute of rest as whatever what in what in the middle of whatever increment that you're doing all right That's a thing. One set of 60. Oh man. You take a minute of rest. So if we're doing three sets of 60, we're coming in at 180. It's like we have somebody in here who's 180 years old and we're doing their birthday squats, right? They can bring the birthday squats. Maybe it's easier that way.
All right, guys. If you are done with your squats, or if you're just taking a break, that's okay. But if you're done, while you're waiting for the rest of the class, I want you to do cat cows as a stretch. What are you on, Cassandra? 40. Okay. 40. Okay. Go ahead and give me five cat cows both ways. Then turn on your back and give me some dead bugs. I think I only have two sets of 60 in me. I think that's it. sweat. Gross. Ugh. How many are you doing, Juliana? 30. You doing your last set of 40? Yeah. Joe G, you done? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can count down. That's a good idea. How many did you get, Viviana? Cool. That's awesome. That's great. That's enough. Yes, that's it. That's great. You've stopped when you felt it. That's good. I love it. All right. So while we wait for the class to finish, I'm going to do some cat cows, unless you're still going, with your 60, three sets of 60 or three sets of 40, whichever one you're doing. That breeze, though, sure does feel nice. All right. Then I'm going into some dead bugs. Arms and legs up at the same time. Opposite arm, opposite leg reaches. Give me five on each side. Nice, Cassandra. All right. Guys, when you're done with your dead bugs, let's go in there our shin box position or when you're done with your cat cows. There you go, Ricardo. Okay, so coming into our shin box position, so knee to foot. Then, if you can, have your arms overhead and be up straight as you're doing this. If you can't, put your arms behind you because I want you to keep that chest straight up, all right, as you're doing your shin box. So my feet come flat on the ground, I transition. My feet come flat, I transition. Go ahead and give me five on each side. Okay. No, you got a cramp? Cramp? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, just five on each side. Then we're going to do our homework. What? I know. Timer's been giving me more troubles today. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do 20 seconds of knee grabs. Rest for 10 seconds. 20 seconds of either push-ups or archer planks, yeah, with our legs out wide. So if you're doing your archer planks instead of push-ups, you're dragging that hand up, coming back down, 
dragging that hand up, coming back down for 20 seconds. And then you're gonna do your, your mountain climbers for 20 seconds. You're either going opposite or you're doing same, whichever one you prefer, all right? Just 20 seconds of each of those, starting with our knee grabs. And we're going as soon as you hear, there we go. <laughs> Switch it over, going into either our archer planks or our push-ups. If you're doing strict push-ups, make sure you get that chest all the way to the ground. Now we're transitioning into our mountain climbers, making sure we get those shoulders over those wrists. Instead of mountain climbers, uh, give me some more dead bugs. Get that knee as far up to that elbow as you possibly can. So besides shorting you a few lunges in the beginning, I think we did pretty well, right? We did a good job. Yay, slow clap it. Ah. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Don't forget, it's geese week. Don't forget, it's geese week. And uh, think about what all the things that the geese can teach you. Yeah, Canadian geese poop anywhere. Don't do that. Sorry. Yeah. Okay.